So you've been learning Python and you're concerned about losing your job or your high income prospects? Well, you reached the right video. Let me explain. This video was brought to you by DigiLink Academy, your number one spot to learn how to make money programming and get that six figure salary you desire. Our academy has a wide range of courses, including 1K and 30 day spreadsheet programming, developer interview questions and answers, and you get access to the WordPress income blueprint and much, much more. When you sign up, you get access to our free community and professional developers who want to help you take your career to the next level. So it's time for us to take that next step to get to our seven step guide. And the good thing about it guys, it's free. So let's go ahead and click the link below so you can get access to our free seven step guide so we can start putting money in your pockets today. So guys, I got some bad news for you. And um, I'm gonna tell you guys a story on how this impact me so that it won't impact you the same way and you have a, a different expectation coming into these bad times and kind of be able to position yourself to have success even though everybody else is suffering so guys back in 2008 um, we had a similar um, well it was a lot better than this as far as just the recession and um, jobs were slim and everybody was concerned about losing their jobs and it, it was not good and um, even for developers, we're always in demand. So we always get the top tier salaries. We know people need us. But when it gets bad like this, you have recession, you have depression, people want to cut fat and they don't really think clearly. So a lot of us get cut prematurely, even though, you know, from a impact perspective, we still can help that company. And uh, that's just the unfortunate side of being on in, in a depression or in a recession. That being said, guys, the junior developers get hit the hardest because you have no experience, you have really no value, and people is not ready to take a risk on you during these tough times. So you're wondering, hey Rod, how can I position myself so I can get a job and still be successful and have a salary that's competitive so that I can take my career to the next level? I got three things I want to kind of discover or discuss with you guys today hopefully it'll give you more well it's going to give you better perspective and it's going to put you in the best position so that you can still um be or you still gonna get to that high level even during a, a recession the last one guys i still was able to increase my uh, income throughout that recession i just uh, i was uh, strategic about it and I was able to really uh, kind of communicate my value to the company so they, that not only they keep me on but obviously they give me a raise under the right circumstances and I'll kind of go over that with you guys in this video so number one guys uh, let's start with what job what, what jobs will do with junior Python developers First of all, guys, when you're in Python, you're working on a lot of AI, a lot of data science, a lot of new data science projects. Unfortunately, during these times, all the sexy projects get cut, guys. Unfortunately, this is the nature of the beast. And a lot of you guys has been working on AI projects, data science projects for months, and you're gonna quickly find out they're just gonna cut it all of a sudden. And not that it's your work or what you've been doing, it's just that people companies get in survival mode they only want to focus on the stuff that's making them money and a lot of these new sexy projects is not gonna be what they're needing this being said guys on your resume you have to have a wide range of projects that you do in order to communicate that hey even during tough times I have skills that's aligning with what you need at the time if you have project Python projects that are only dealing with AI only the sexy new stuff and not necessarily get into the core business project processes and automation really saving that company money you are going to be doomed <laughs> i tell you that you will be doomed so let's make sure we diversify our uh, projects to make sure that you can do a lot of automation a lot of reporting a lot of uh, business process um, making that more efficient guys that's that's the kind of stuff that even during a recession 
people need companies need because their labor force has shrunk but they still want to produce the same level of um, products and services technology can bridge that gap without that labor if you can communicate you can do that guess who's going to continue to have a job guess who's going to get a raise after they start really putting these projects into play this is the type of stuff that's going to put you in that top mastery level when it comes to software development in that advanced stage guys so you have to be able to um, have those low level of skills and be able to communicate that number two like i was telling you before focus on the core business problems guys um, a lot of the sexy stuff that we've been working on so far is not going to be in the core business uh, <laughs> projects uh, because quite frankly this is not the sexy stuff guys this is the routine repetitive stuff that they do day to day that puts money in their pockets so as much as you can do to improve this process so that they can make more money it's the less likelihood you will get laid off and you if you even even if you're going in for a job, if you can communicate this, it's going to put you in a better position to be able to get that job, guys. Even as a junior developer, you got the projects to showcase during your interview process. You can go in and get a job even over senior level developers because you have this specific um, niche that's going to allow you to get that job, get those projects done for the employer. You speak in their language, they like you. Um, you have no risk associated to you because you know quite frankly you know even though uh, they're gonna be paying you le less than a uh, senior developer yeah let's get me on the top end of the junior developer salary which is probably right there at a senior level salary a lower end of a senior level salary that's gonna give you flexibility in the future to jump up to the higher end senior level of uh, salary uh, at the beginning fun fact guys <clears throat> You don't necessarily, if you don't necessarily have to come in just getting a higher, uh, a higher title, let's get the top end of the lower, the lower salary or lower title so that you can have the flexibility to jump to the max on the second. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, number three, guys, generalist resumes will not stand out during a recession <laughs> it's just not you're gonna be doomed guys if you're coming in with these general uh, junior python developer resumes it's not going to work it's not going to work yeah you'll probably end up getting an interview um, they'll just bring you in so that they can meet their quota of interviews but are they gonna take you serious probably not because they're gonna see your resume you're gonna have the basic frameworks basic stuff on there nesting specific to their company and what they do it's just that they they look at you as a project yourself that they're gonna have to teach you everything and then there's a possibility you may leave versus on the other hand if you're specific to them their industry and what they do the the risk has dramatically lowered guys they know coming you know they think you coming in you have an expectation of their company what you're gonna be doing all this good stuff you've done it in the past it makes them feel at ease they're willing to give you more money because they know that you're going to be a better fit than all of those other 99 general resumes that's on their desk and they're going to offer you the job first even as a junior python developer guys this is stuff that you have to uh, put in perspective put yourself in the in the shoes of a hiring manager and just imagine if the hire manager um um interviewed or just imagine a hire manager hired you as a junior developer you come in you quit within three weeks because either number one you your expectations of the job is not good or you just couldn't make the cut three weeks guys that looks bad on the hiring manager because it seems like they didn't do their due diligence they're not going to take a risk on you even if it's the low the cost is low from a salary perspective but you're not looking at the training and all the time that's invested in actually recruiting somebody getting them in interviewing all the hr stuff 
lots of work guys people want to hire uh, an employer that's going to be around for a while so they, they don't have to do this as often you know everybody have to do it regardless of how good of a company you are people leave they get better jobs it's going to happen over time but I, I i guess the way i see it is anybody who stays around probably two plus years i think that's a good hire you know you're starting to get then three plus five ten that's a really good hire if they provide value too. You get people come in, they leave less than a year. That might not have been a, a good return on your time, unless they're a rock star developer, which again, you know, you're gonna know that pretty quickly. And uh, rock star developers, you're not gonna bring them in at lower salaries anyways. Um, so, but my point being is you have to reduce that risk for them and showcase the ability skills, what you, what you have done in the past, what you're willing to do, and it just makes things that much better for you guys. So that being said, guys, covered a lot of stuff here at the end of the day i want to make sure you leverage your python development skills so that you can get a job even in a recession if you haven't already go ahead and sign up for my seven step guide and also i got a lot of premium courses that's going to help you guys really take your skills to the next level and put you in a position to win we want to really get you guys started doing that if not you're gonna be at the house with no job and wondering why, hey, I done all this work and I still can't get a job. We do not want that guy. So if you agree with me, comment below. If you disagree with me, comment below. Let's start a conversation, guys. Like, subscribe to the content. Go ahead and check out my seven step guide right here. Click on that and sign up. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.